Hello friends, welcome to Legal Learning. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about AJS, that is Assam Judicial Service Exam. This exam is being held by Guwahati High Court for Requirement of Judicial Officer. And this is grade 3 exam. For this, first of all, one clarification I want to give that there is no number of attempt. You can give multiple attempt, so do not worry about this. And the age limit is till 35, I guess, till 35. You can see the notification also so this is the first thing and second thing for the question paper if you want to see the question paper then you have to go through the guwahati high court website and there you can go through the recruitment page and there you can find the question paper or else uh, the question paper will be available in my comment section there or in the or in the description box you can find the link here also so this query is relating to the question paper apart from this if you have any query regarding the syllabus then i'm going to say you civil law and criminal law we know there are two kind of law right and also the laws are also divided into uh, substantive law and also procedural law right so there are total only eight papers for ajs only eight papers if you're thinking that family law will come then family law is not part of the syllabus that similarly jurisprudence is not part of the syllabus this confusion again i'm clearing okay now here you can see the syllabus ipc crpc and evidence these are these are criminal law ipc service evidence ipc substantive criminal law it the uh, crpc completes the ipc and also the evidence for evidence law of evidence evidence is applicable to both civil and criminal proceedings we all know then ICA is indian contract act contract law tpa transfer of property act tort tort there is no statute or act for the tort we know that tort is not a codified law for this you have to read a lot of case laws and also a lot of doctrines or principles Similarly, TP also you have to read the uh, till section like 53A, a lot of doctrines. Then CPC is very important in this procedural law and it is civil law. And CPC is quite tough. Till order 20, you have to go through very nicely because it's important. Then comes our constitution of India, which is my favorite subject too. Okay, so this is the syllabus. After the syllabus, I'm going to deal with the books. So books, uh, as we know, law books, those law books which we have read in LLB, those books will be enough for you you just need to clear the concept conceptual clarity is very much important and why you need book you need book for the purpose of clearing your sudden confusion relating to the concept of law then going through the maxim then going through the principles of law then going through the case laws for this purpose the books are necessary okay for this purpose you have to read the books otherwise uh, books are needed of course but direct you have to read all the barrack and very nicely you have to read because this is the most important thing without bearing direct books won't be sufficient like it's 80 percent the barrack and 20 percent the books that is the rule 80 and 20 is the rule so i'm going to show you the book list here one book is for prelims now this is universal's guide to judicial service exam other books are also available for prelims similar kind of books that contains mcq at least maximum 1000 and minimum 500 mcqs it is good if you uh, solve 1000 plus mcqs per subject because it's very important that's how you'll be able to get at least 80 percent of mcq will be like common from uh, these books and for 20 percent rest 20 percent you can follow the barrack and barrack will also help you a lot so this is uh, for mcq like for prelims for mains you have to go through that single judicial service examination there is a lot of questions are there you need not read from first to last starting from beginning to end the book you just need to go through the questions at first and then you need to make a list of important questions means important questions and then you have to pick one topic after another and go through the important topics at first and in, in least important topics later on that's how we have to cover the syllabus because it won't be possible for you or anyone to cover the entire syllabus and it's not even important to need read some unimportant uh, and important topics also that's only pick the important one and that's how for this purpose you have to go through the book mains book there's a lot of questions are there you can go through this book for mains you can go through this books for prelims here 1000 plus mcq per subject and mcq direct is very much important and apart from this you can read the books also for conceptual clarity so this is for the law paper now if we come to other papers like uh, reasoning and gk for this shortcuts to reasoning is one book this is shortcuts to reasoning by disha publication this book for shortcuts okay for reasoning you have to first of all solve two three sum only 
then you have to identify the pattern you have to make a separate list and write down the patterns and then accordingly you have to go you need not solve everything like you need not solve everything you just need to go in a very systematic way you need not read everything because uh, uh, it's obviously not possible then comes Arihan subject your general knowledge you can go through this book it is also nice Lucent's of objective and Lucent's books are also good Lucent's verbal reasoning is also good you can go through but if you go through the least amount of book then it's better according to me it's better because this exam is very like you need a lot of patience for the exam first of all and there will be many time you will feel very exhausted so that's why go through less books and go systematically and rest is also very important along with hard work and it's not hard work it's just smart work which you need to do done so you can see here this is the website of Guwahati High Court right I'm showing so now the, this is the previous year question paper here judicial service grade 1 you can solve grade 1 question paper also it's nothing tough you can it's better if you solve grade 1 also there's a lot of question paper mains and prelims then comes grade 2 question paper of judicial grade 3 sorry grade 3 of judicial service which you are gonna give apart from this you can solve exam question papers of Arunachal judicial Pradesh grade 1 grade 2 or Nagaland judicial Pradesh grade 1 grade 2 you cannot you don't skip everything just download this question paper and print it out and then keep solving and go according to the question paper that's how you'll be able to do okay